Yo, what's up everybody? If you guys are worried about inflation and the economy, dude, get ready. This video is for you. I don't even know where I'm looking. I think I'm looking, you know what? I'm on my phone. Yeah, let's just get right into it. Let's be honest, inflation sucks. It truly does. Everything goes up. Foils in the salon have gone up double. You know, it is just insane. So why do I want to share this with you? Well, it's because I love you and I really just want to give back to you and just make it to where you have the most amazing hair with very minimal amount of money. So you're welcome. Thank you guys. So first off, what you want to do, the type of head that we're working on is that she's got kind of a full frontal fringe. You know, I said full frontal, that's just kind of weird. I'm not going to get naked or anything, but she's got a very full fringe in the front, straight across the line. And then we've got length to about down to this specific area and there's no layers throughout the top, okay? So what I have done, and I'm going to show you guys here in just a minute on this other side, is that I've already pre-sectioned the, section these off and I section these off into three different sections right here. And you can see those lines right through there. Now, again, I'm gonna be adjusting these ponytails here in just a minute, but I just kinda of wanted to get that essential hair out of the way. And as you can see right through here is that these sections are now being all the way over directed. If this is straight right here in the front, right over this part. And this is where the hair naturally wants to part right over that line. So let's go ahead and do this side. Take my first section right through here. Clean sections are a must, okay? Now what we wanna do is I'm gonna take this hair and I'm going to comb all of this up from that section and I'm gonna comb it all the way up until I'm right over the top of this part right there. Take a little rubber band here, okay? Take that, like just like that. And I will come in and I'm gonna make sure that we are. Now I can look at basically those two sections just like that. Now, as I start to move those rubber bands up, I'm gonna position those to where they're right in the same spot. Take right through here, this second section, and I'm going to brush this all the way up. Comb, sorry, comb this. Again, clean sections are a must. Here we go, we're gonna check those two sections. Now, what I wanna do is as I'm kind of holding onto this, I'm gonna start by kind of spreading this out and I'm just gonna be working this up to where these are even, okay? Super important. And the other thing that you wanna kind of keep in mind, guys, is that you wanna stay almost over directly above this actual, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, right through there, but you wanna stay above the actual section. You wanna be in the center of that section right through there, instead of it drifting over to the front or the back of that section. You guys can actually see where this back section is and you can see how synced up those are right through there. Now where we wanna start cutting this is we're not gonna start cutting in the front ones. We're gonna leave those one out. We're gonna actually gonna start cutting on the ones right here in the middle. So these two right through here. Now, how we wanna do this, guys, and if we think about this, this is gonna create some of the coolest amount of volume on the head. These sections that we put everything in right through here is just basically isolating the sections, okay? So let's basically start the cutting, okay? Now this is the fun part, but it can kind of be a little bit scary, right? Let's not make it, let's not make it scary, it's only hair, right? It's the most important accessory you'll ever wear. But the thing about it is what we wanna do is that we're gonna take a combination of these two sections, right? Which is gonna be the one on the right side and the one on the left, just like that. Now we're gonna combine these together, just like so. There's a couple different ways we can cut this. We can either cut this straight, we can cut this more jagged, you know, or we can actually chip into it and then we can texturize it. What I wanna do is that we're actually gonna kinda of come in and we're gonna kinda of point cut, okay? And I'm going to just kinda of start by cutting off some of this length, just like that, okay? I would probably suggest point cutting, personally. 
That's kind of what I think is gonna help kind of soften up all of that. One of the other things I would definitely most likely recommend is to kind of come in and like soften it up with something that's got a little bit more texture. And these scissors have teeth on them to where they don't cut every piece of hair. Now you can actually cut and you can just really almost kind of texturize and kind of soften up some of that hair right through there. Now you saw how I actually cut that line. I wasn't straight across like this. I was a little bit more angled because I'm actually gonna leave a little bit more length through this area and a little bit more length through that area, okay? So now what we wanna do is we just wanna connect it. Connect it, connect it, connect it. So we can come in and we can kind of see where our guide is at. So that's that hair, just like that. Now we're not gonna be cutting it straight just like this, okay? We're actually gonna be angling it just like that. So we're gonna over direct some of this hair back. And what that means is that we're actually gonna sustain a little bit more length right through there. We can take this other guide right through here and we can look at that. Let's go ahead and drop those just like that. Then we can take our scissors. Our scissors. And we can drop our scissors. Don't drop your scissors ever. Any hairstylist watching right now, they're like, oh, yeah, don't drop your scissors. Let's recheck our guide, just like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to look and I'm going to brush all of these up. Now we're gonna to come to this back section. We're gonna take our guides from before. You can see kind of where our guide is at just like that. Take this. Cut off some of those pieces. I don't cut it right directly to that line. And the reason for that is because when I come in and I texturize just a little bit, I wanna leave some room so it doesn't take it any shorter. We're gonna go ahead and cut off these ponytails. And you guys should cut off these ponytails. You do not want to, I, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but if any of you guys actually have any kids and use these little rubber bands, you should always cut them out. You do not want to pull them out. You're gonna make it to where your child just hates getting their hair done. So you always wanna make sure you cut these rubber bands out. It's super, super important. Being a dad of two, woo, you know. Okay guys, so now that I've cut those off, let's go ahead and brush this out. And we're gonna check this out. After you get this brushed out, let's go ahead and dry this and let's check this out. Let's actually see how we did. I know it's gonna be amazing. Let's do this. I hope you guys really, really dig this. This is super sexy, okay? This will work on, honestly, it'll work on shorter length. It'll work on longer length, you know, just again, you can really just kind of balance out really where you guys want to put those layers. Look how kind of fun this looks all the way around. Very, very cool. And it gives a lot of volume, gives a lot of lift. It just is awesome. So again, I know I mentioned this a lot and the brushes are coming. They're really, really coming. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of them. We've got multiple colors. They're going to be so, so much fun. But anyways, how I finished off this is with my brush. Again, it is a dual bristle brush. It's my favorite. I absolutely love it. So if you guys dig this and you're gonna save some money, you know what I mean? That's because I love you. I just really wanted to give back to you guys because you guys have grown my channel. And if you're new to my channel, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna link everything below besides my brushes because they're not yet available. And I know I'm just kind of teasing you with it, but you know what? Once it comes out, it is gonna be super amazing. And I'm so excited to get it in everybody's hands. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. My name is Jake Thompson Hair. I will see you guys in the next video.